Imagine your phone responding to your touch with a gentle vibration, adding a layer of sensory interaction that makes every action feel more intuitive. That's the magic of haptic feedback, a feature that has become a staple in modern smartphones, enhancing the way we connect with our devices. For Samsung Galaxy users, the promise of improved haptic feedback in One UI 7.0 has sparked excitement as new features are being considered to elevate the overall user experience. Samsung's One UI 7.0 is currently in its beta phase, a crucial period where feedback from users helps shape the final product. Every year, Samsung rolls out its beta program to gather insights and suggestions, and this time, users have been vocal about wanting more from their devices. Haptic feedback has taken center stage in these discussions with five innovative recommendations gaining traction among Galaxy enthusiasts. On Samsung's official forums in the United States, users have proposed several intriguing ideas to the One UI 7.0 development team. One of the standout suggestions involves refining the back gesture experience by replacing the single vibration with two quicker, smaller vibrations, similar to the approach used on Google's Pixel smartphones. This subtle tweak could make interactions feel smoother and more responsive, adding a layer of sophistication to a feature many use daily. Another idea is to introduce a light haptic response when opening the quick panel, a seemingly minor addition that could make navigating this essential feature feel more engaging. Users have also suggested adding haptics to sliders such as those used for adjusting volume and brightness, providing tactile feedback that could make these actions feel more precise. Moreover, a gentle vibration when accessing the app drawer or switching between applications in the recent apps menu has been proposed, aiming to enhance the seamlessness of multitasking. These ideas have not gone unnoticed. A beta moderator on the forums confirmed that the suggestions have been forwarded to Samsung's development team for consideration. While there's no guarantee that all these features will make it into the final version of One UI 7.0, the proactive response from Samsung shows a commitment to listening to its user base and refining its software based on real-world input. The anticipation for One UI 7.0 continues to build as Samsung progresses through its beta updates. The second beta version was recently released, and rumors suggest that a third beta may arrive in the coming days. Each update brings Samsung closer to finalizing the software with the official release expected early next year. This iterative process reflects Samsung's dedication to innovation and user satisfaction. By incorporating thoughtful features like enhanced haptic feedback, the company demonstrates how small changes can make a big difference in how users interact with their devices. The potential improvements in One UI 7.0 are not just about technology, they are about creating a more intuitive, satisfying experience for Galaxy device owners. As we look forward to the public release of One UI 7.0, one thing is clear. Samsung is setting the stage for a software upgrade that prioritizes user feedback and meaningful enhancements. Whether or not all the proposed haptic features make it into the final version, the conversation itself highlights the importance of collaboration between a tech giant and its loyal users. With One UI 7.0, Samsung is not just improving its software, it's strengthening the bond between its technology and the people who use it every day. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 mm by 77.6 mm. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 mm in height, but a bit wider at 79 mm, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series, returns 
offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new camera control button. This physical key equipped with a capacitive surface allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's 18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45-watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 
20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.